Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing some Ahuja markers. Um, so Ahuja markers, they are really cheap art markers, but they're really good actually. Uh, they have a broad tip and a fine tip. I generally use a fine tip because I do not trust myself with the broad tip to be honest, but they work pretty well. The pigment, as you'll see, is amazing. Uh, I got a pack of 40, and they come in a really nice carry case as well. And the range of colours is really wide, so I'm just trying out a few so that you can see you know, what each colour looks like. Yeah, they're really well pigmented pens, and you can layer with just one pen, so if you if you um, put a layer of the pen down and then leave it to dry, then you can go over it with the same colour pen and it will layer up really well, which is useful. And yet there were some bright colours, there were some pastels, and there were two highlighters which were labelled FO, which I'm assuming is fluorescent. Um, but yeah, a wide range for just 40, although there was only one skin tone marker, which would probably be my only criticism for the colours. So getting on to actually drawing, I've got a sketch I was going to use for October, slightly mm -hmm. in it. Um, but so I'm starting off with the skin tone marker, which is number 26. So you wouldn't think it was skin tone from the colour on the lid, which is why you have to do a swatch. But yep, first layer going down on with the broad end of the marker and as you can see it's not streaky um, as long as you don't press down too hard then you won't get streaks on your work and it does take a little bit of practice to be honest but the colour just looks really good on the page Now I'm using number 45 with the fine tip of number 45 just to combine the flowers. And then going on to use number 48 for the hair using the broad tip. And with number 48, it does look a little bit streaky when it's on the page, but it's the hair. So it, it gives it a bit of texture to be honest. And I think it was my fault because I'm still not brilliant with these pens yet. But yeah, as you'll see, it works really well. And also, another thing I haven't mentioned yet is that it doesn't bleed like whatsoever, which is really useful. Although it does bleed through the paper, but in the helpful case that they have, there is also a plastic sheet that you can put in between your paper and your work surface or the rest of your notepad if you're using notepad like I am. Which I thought was a really good idea because honestly I would ruin some of these pages so that's what you have to watch out for if you're using thin paper. I'm using 130 GSM but I think you're recommended to use about 180 GSM for it not to bleed through as much. Now I'm just adding a bit of shadows and some well, making colours look flat using number 59 which blends really well and just colouring the bow with 
uh, was 84, which also works really well. So yep, that's all I had to say. Um, the Zuzu markers, they are really good. They're really affordable as well. And they're just great quality. And especially for beginners, like I have never really used proper art pens before. They are a really good investment. So sorry for bad lighting because I'm not used to doing these kind of videos and sorry if I'm a bit quiet, I'm not used to recording me talking. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!